I still can remember saying, kids will develop at their own rate and it'll be fine. It's not like he's going to be 10 and not be able to run. The therapist said, you know, I think he has some sort of muscular dystrophy. And I remember she was kind of hiding the book because she didn't want me to see it. So, and it's, but it's just like that. The blood test is quick. So you wake up in the morning and you think your kid's fine and you go to bed that night and you know they're dying. It was that sudden. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a rapidly progressive and fatal disease. With no therapy, these kids don't live into adulthood. Most young men die in around the age of 19. Jed is turning 18 in October next month. How do you tell a kid he's not going to grow up? calling it a miracle drug, it's proving to be slow or even stop the progression of a form of muscular dystrophy. Imagine having two sons with the fatal disease. One gets an experimental therapy and thrives, the other doesn't. Like, stop! Stop! Right? Like Max is on this drug and he's been on it for two years and he's stable and he's running around instead of in a wheelchair. I really thought both of my boys had a death sentence and I was preparing for that, but it's also really scary because I could have the first child in history to survive this disease and I could have the last kid to die from it living in the same house. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the number one fatal childhood disorder in our country today. In front of us lies a new medication that seems like it could be a cure for Duchenne. This drug works. We did not have a single side effect from this treatment. This is the culmination of all of your efforts, and the FDA is standing in its way. This drug has the potential to slow this disorder down, but if we can't get it out fast, we won't save this generation of boys. How dare you keep a life-saving drug from my child? You know, I know like smell triggers memory, so I'm always smelling him. You know, because I'm like, okay, if I ever need to summon this, in the future, this is how I'm gonna do it. But then, I feel like I'm betraying the other side of my brain, which is the side that's like, no matter what, we're not gonna stop until we change the outcome. How is a parent supposed to sit back and watch their kid die? There's not an animal on earth that would sit and watch their child die. They will eat another animal. They will do anything to keep their child alive. How do I cool it? I will eat anything to keep them alive. When you have no choice but to believe that there's going to be a solution to the problem, it's crazy how many different possibilities there are. The unknown becomes known when enough attention is paid to it. The world was flat until someone got in their boat and just kept on sailing it until the edge of the sky met the ocean. In many ways, that's what we're doing.